<laughs> I'm just asking Marla if she's ever played a politician. No. But not yet. No, I haven't. <laughs> I just play politics whenever I have to. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Wise girl. <laughs> so Marla <laughs> Thomas <laughs> is yes. one of our favorites from That Girl to Friends and everything in between. And now she's in Broadway in a hilarious show called Relatively Speaking. Let's take a look. Forgive me, Doreen, but don't you listen? No, not really. <laughs> I'm always stunned that people listen to each other's stories. I mean, it's like having someone give you their underwear to keep. Y you'll never use it. It doesn't fit. It just, it just uses up your space, and you can't throw it out because it's in your drawer. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. And neither do I. It was kind of a metaphor, but I got so bored in the middle of it, I just said anything. <laughs> Does that happen to you often? <laughs> so bored in the middle of it? That's Elaine May's dialogue. You can't go wrong with her. So oh, God, yeah. she's so and, great. And relatively speaking, of course, is, is, it's a great concept on yes. Broadway because it's three one-act plays. Well, yeah, Lynn and Joe and Ethan Cohen and Elaine May. And mm -hmm. So you're really getting a sort of a smorgasbord of comedy. And if you love comedy, as yeah. I do, you get to see three great playwrights, you know, show their way of, of how families behave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my part is just amazing, because this woman has just found out that her husband died three hours ago. So the first line of our play is, George is dead. I tell this woman who I go to her house for comfort. And in anybody else's hands, you know, to start a play that way would be kind of a tragedy. But right. this woman is just <laughs> completely like a motor mouse. She doesn't stop talking, and she doesn't face it until the end, which is great for an actor to be right. able to go from denial to acceptance yeah. in just an hour. How do you yeah. like this, the one-act the one act play? I mean, how do you like doing that? Because it's, it's a lot less time on stage. Well, I'm on for a straight hour. That seems enough. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm happy to do that. Time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not that picky. <laughs> but uh, I, I, and I am, I'm really enjoying it. It's just a wonderful play. I, you know, I don't know about you, but to make 1,100 people laugh eight times a week seems like a very good job. It's a good, I'm good job. Good I'm good really job. enjoying it. Another yeah. great job for you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank I've you had so, so much. Many. You know, it's and, great. And yep. something else you're doing, and you do, you've been doing for many years now, the St. Jude's Thanks and Giving campaign runs. That's from right. Thanksgiving yes. until the end of the year. And, mm -hmm. and I don't think a lot of people know that it costs $1.7 million a day to, to run, run the St. hospital. Jude. Yes, it does. And also what's important is that because we're not for profit, we have to get 75% of our money from the public, while the average hospital only has to get about 8%. So this time of year is really important for us. And uh, Jennifer Aniston, as you see right there, and Robin Williams, and Morgan Freeman, uh, Morgan, a lot of big stars. Wonderful yeah, actors do these commercials with me. and. Uh, they're great. And, and also, no child has ever turned away if a family can't pay. So right. we really need to raise this money to, to not only continue our research, but to be sure that we never turn any children away. Well, and you can actually oh. donate at stjude.org. stjude.org. You, great can, uh, you can too. right now donate right this right, minute. Right, right now. here. <laughs> Go. So finish watching her first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We do want to ask you a little personal stuff. You yes. know, you're married to Phil Donahue. Yes. What's the holidays like for you, the two of you? What plans? Well, it's, it, well, first of all, I'm working, so it's a little crazy. But, uh, you know, <laughs> Phil has five children and two grandchildren children so they're all in town staying with us which is oh great. Oh boy, houseful. La he's, it's fun. <laughs> Are you and, cooking? Yeah, absolutely. And <laughs> last night was Phil's birthday so we had oh, uh, nice. we had two yeah. birthday parties, one before the theater, one after the theater. So <laughs> it, it's, it, what's, I mean that's what's great about the holidays. I yeah. just wish that my family was here. They come every other year so yeah. I miss them. They're all out in LA. Well oh. you'll get to see them next year. One yes. of the great, I was there at opening night for Relatively Speaking know. and Phil was running in and out the stage door <laughs> back and forth. <laughs> before the show, he was like carrying cups of coffee and stuff. I thought, what a supportive yeah. guy after oh, yeah. all these years. Oh, yeah. How do you keep it real? He's a real stage door, Johnny. Well, we like each other. <laughs> And, and exactly that. I mean, we support each other's okay. dreams. I think most marriages fall apart because people get bored yeah. with each other's dreams. But he's so excited that I've got this great part on Broadway and that I'm having a good time and the audience is like us. And he's Aww. happy for me. Aww, that's nice. so sweet. We said happy yeah. birthday. Thank yeah. You, yeah. Tell him to come along next time. I okay? will. I will. And Relatively Speaking is at the Brooks Atkinson Theater. Go see it. Thank you. And Thank you. Merry Lemon Christmas. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. It's great to have you Thank here. you very much. Coming up, he's getting raves for his role in the new Marilyn Monroe movie with Michelle Williams. Kenneth Branagh is here live. Then it's a beautiful day to adopt a puppy, so why not take one of these little guys home? I saw you holding one, Marlon. Oh, this is so oh, cute. Should get one for oh, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute.